And to the IRS scandal now, the House Committee looking into the targeting of conservative groups, saying the agency is now agreeing to hand over documents and emails from Lois Lerner. As you may know, Lois Lerner was the IRS official who has taken the fifth twice and is at the center of the investigation over why the IRS went after the Tea Party groups. This past week, Ms. Lerner again refused to talk. I will decline to answer any question on the subject matter of this hearing. On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. And if the IRS does hand over the emails, what can we expect? Joining us now is Texas Congressman Blake Ferenthold, who's a member of that investigative committee, the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, and he joins us now from Austin, Texas. Congressman, good morning. Good morning. Glad to be with you. Good to see you. Do you expect Ms. Lerner will be cited for contempt of Congress this coming week? Well, there's certainly some talk about it. Speaker Boehner indicated that uh, that might be an appropriate response. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We've got a Government Oversight and Reform Committee business meeting coming up next week. Not on the agenda yet, but uh, may be added. Why are you so troubled by the fact that she has taken the fifth several times? That is a right under the Constitution. And what you have or have not so far been told? Well. I don't think she took the fifth. She waived her Fifth Amendment right when she came into that first government oversight and reform hearing and gave her side of the story. Well, we have a right to cross-examine her. She waived her Fifth Amendment right at that point. Now, the IRS is, is, says they will be handing over this material. What do you expect or what do you think it will show? What do you think these emails and these texts and other uh, documents could show? I mean, they were accused of stonewalling the committee in the past few months. Well, my concern is where did it come? Where did the idea come from that we're going to target these Tea Party groups? Even if there wasn't a specific directive from higher up, which I think there was, there was a culture in the IRS where this sort of behavior seems right. The American people deserve honesty from their tax collecting agency. It's not a political tool. It's supposed to be a fair arbiter of taxes. Do you think it was used as a political tool in this case? It's pretty clear if you look at the numbers, substantially more conservative groups were targeted for review than were uh, groups with terms like progressive in them. So it, it seems obvious to me just by the numbers. Well, you know, Democrats say, well, yes, it was wrong that Tea Party groups were uh, cited. And they also say some progressive groups were. Do you buy that? Do you think that's enough of an explanation? Or do you definitely see a test? Uh, Again, I think it was much more uh, conservative groups. And you go back uh, and, and look as far back as the Nixon administration. One of the biggest scandals Nixon faced and one of the articles of impeachment on Nixon was the fact that he misused the IRS. We've got, if the IRS is a voluntary tax collection system here in the country, if the IRS charged with enforcing it when you don't voluntarily uh, comply isn't being fair, we've got a huge problem. Yeah, you know, what does this say about, you know, government power and about the way we operate and live under our Constitution in this this grand republic and our democracy. I mean, the government could have so much power over us, whether it's the IRS going, you know, I mean, pe people, they make decisions, they affect us. I mean, it sometimes feels like we're almost helpless. Well, you know, it's a government of the people, for the people, by the people. But because of scandals like this, and you can go down the list, Benghazi, Fast and Furious, the American people have lost faith and trust in their government. And that's a really horrible thing for our society. It's healthy to be distrustful of the government, but when you are to the point you don't believe a word that comes out of their mouth. If you can keep your policy, if you like your doctor, you can keep it. If you like your policy, you can keep it. You've got to have faith in your leaders and your government uh, for it to work in a free republic. Uh, you're a government official. You're a congressman. How, what's your advice? How do we get that trust back? How do we get the belief back from those who have uh, so sadly lost it? You've got to have government transparency and elected officials uh, from the president on down need to be honest with the American people and there needs to be that transparency. We have the tools to be transparent. The internet makes it much easier to find out what's going on in government. If we put the information out there, if we're open and honest, we can regain that trust. Well, hopefully your investigation uh, will reveal what's open and honest in the IRS really went on there. Uh, we'll see if she's cited for contempt of Congress this week. Congressman Blake Ferenthold of Texas, the Lone Star State. Thank you so much for joining us from Austin this morning. It was my pleasure. Absolutely. Anytime. Jamie?